Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So if you are new to my, oh wait, what? I already said that. Anyways, you guys, so for today, I have for you guys, Instagram chooses my makeup. I'm so excited to film this. I've been wanting to do this forever, but I didn't have the subs subscriber count or the interaction on Instagram that I have now. So I'm so, I'm so excited that I'm finally to that point where I can do things like that. So a lot of these choices were like neck and neck, you guys. So first of all, I just wanna say that. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into the things that you guys chose for me to put on. So let's go ahead and start applying some makeup. All right, so I didn't put this in the polls because whether you guys picked this or not, it was getting put into my makeup routine. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about this. Just gonna apply it because it is one of my favorite primers so the primer that actually won is the oh elf jelly pop primer i was surprised because this one's actually been around for a really really long time and i thought you guys were going to choose the hard candy one just because it's newer but no y'all didn't and like and also like i guess because elf is more accessible like i think it'd be awesome awesome if hard candy started being sold at um, Ulta instead of just Walmart. And then for another, then for primer spray, you guys chose the e.l.f. Um, facial oil mist. And like I said, I have the energy one. Again, I was surprised because I put, what primer spray? Oh, wet and wild. For a minute there, the primer spray decision was 50-50 for a little while. It was like, all right, if it stays 50-50, like I'm gonna have to do like half and half. <laughs> but this one prevailed. All right, you guys, so the eyebrow combination, that one was actually the NYX and Maybelline combination. I was surprised. Well, maybe because y'all had kept choosing e.l.f., y'all chose to switch it up on the brow products because this was up against the e.l.f. brow product. So I'm just going to speak through this because it's my usual brow routine. I'm not trying these products out for the first time or anything. You guys were just able to choose my makeup. The concealer that one was the ColourPop concealer and I put it up next to the Born to Glow because I actually did find out how to make that one work for my skin. This looks like it needs to be mixed. Weird. Okay, so anyways, I found out how to make the Born to Glow concealer work for me, but you guys chose this one. So let's go ahead and I don't feel like that's going to be right. Let's just stick with what we know and use our Alamar Cosmetics brush. Brows are done. Let's go ahead and take the same concealer and primer lids. I swear, when I bought this concealer, it did not look this light in stores. Has anybody else had the same problem buying this concealer in Ulta? Like, it did not look that light. I am going to use the ColourPop Precision sponge. I wet too because this one was really tiny, so it's obviously for precision, precise blending, like under the eyes and whatnot. You guys, this is the palette that won. I was gonna like, on Sunday, I used only this for eyeshadow, blush, bronzer, and highlight, and it was so convenient, y'all. But today, we are only going to be playing with the eyeshadow portion. This is so big, like this is, I wish it would bend back a little bit, but I also don't wanna break the spine and then like the outer part. So, we are gonna try to make this work, y'all without digging our nails into it. So to set everything down, I'm going to go in with the shade Gentle right here. So I love clean brushes to the point to where I hate having to do my makeup after <laughs> I wash my brushes. Like I do not look forward to doing my makeup with clean brushes. Cause I just, you know, that's why I let them sit there for a couple days too. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna admire you while you're clean. Hmm. Okay, so for right now, Let's take the shade T and we're gonna use that as our transition color. Okay, 
Okay, so next I'm going to take, I'm actually gonna take the shade Brick and I throw that in as a crease shade. You guys see how nervous yet excited I am for this look? Like, <laughs> it was a whole lot of nothing, y'all. Yeah, I'm filming after this and my makeup is gonna be so bold in the video. <laughs> After this. And this is just a lavish tapered blending brush. <sighs> y'all, it's just gonna keep getting more intense. Like I need to calm myself down because I feel like I'm making y'all nervous. This, this big old palette like takes so much space on my little filming table. Okay, and so next I'm gonna take cinnamon and take that a little bit more precise into the crease. This brush, this is a Morphe brush. Don't know what it's called. I threw the packaging away. Cinnamon has like a slight like glip sheen type glitter thing to it when you look at it in the pan but as i'm applying it to the eye it just seems more like satin it, like you can't actually see like the little glitter particles on your eye that you see in the pan going back in with the brush that we had brick on and we're just going to start blending out those edges just so that way everything gradiently goes into one another i love profusion eyeshadows y'all like they're the best Okay, and now I need a really small blending brush, but not so small so you can't actually blend out. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics number six brush and we're actually gonna take this shade of fudge right here. So it's not black, it's just a really, really, really deep brown. So I'm gonna take that shade of fudge and we're gonna smoke this look out. a little bit darker like it turned really really purple on the lid so all right so i'm taking steady um i'm gonna take steady like it doesn't look like it's no. that black in the pan but i mean we're gonna try it so now i just need to find another brush y'all i know this is looking real i know this is looking real scary y'all bear with me just gonna go all the way back with blending because the girl did the most. Should have used my e.l.f. eye tape. So I saw this trick that I really want to try. Again. I saw somebody cut their crease. But first they cleaned up the area where they wanted to cut their crease. So I'm just going to take this Q-tip and damp it with this micellar water sponge. And then I'm going to go in with the Q-tip and before I apply the concealer. Just clean up where I want my crease to be cut. And I just thought that was such an awesome idea because look how clean that is. So not the best and we will be cleaning all this up in a second y'all. So now I wanna take Fire Opal right here and I wanna put that where we cut the crease. So. That's actually it not being wet or anything. So I actually wanna see what it looks like wet. So I'm just gonna spray it and apply it. Cause that's it just by itself dry with the brush and it looks really good. All right, y'all. I don't know if it's cause we need lashes or what, but let me clean them. <laughs> I feel like this is a fail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, you guys, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this glitter right here called Passionate and apply that to the center. about to do we need some lashes on these eyes because that's probably why I look so crazy so the mascara that one was actually the Tarte Tartist Pro mascara so I am gonna go ahead and just coat the top lashes with this I actually really really like this mascara for my natural days where all I want is mascara 
pin and the lash is that one where these lashes right here my friend Karina actually sells these and this is just in the style E8. I tag her all the time on Instagram if you're trying to get a hold of her to get these lashes. And so yeah, I'm just, these are the lashes that won y'all. So I'm just gonna pop these on and then we will be right back. All right, you guys, lashes are on. Lashes really complete a look and I'm sure as I keep on applying makeup, what in the world happened there? I'm sure as I keep on applying makeup, the look is gonna come together. My lips are getting dry, let me put on some lip oil. Okay, so foundation combo that one. Another combo that actually really surprised me because like these products are like one's high end and one's not as accessible as you would think is the Becca and the BH Cosmetics foundation. Um, I chose both, both foundation combos I chose because one's super matte and one's pretty like dewy and I'm all about mixing them foundations. Don't let that BH Cosmetics foundation fool you, y'all, because I lean more dry, like I'm more normal leaning dry, and some days that BH foundation on me, y'all, can look oily. So this looks like it's gonna be the perfect shade match for me right now. We won't have to take it down my neck because Brian wanna be childish. Taking my elf, you know what? Let me try to blend it out with the ColourPop one first, just to see how it works. Yeah, this will take forever to do with this teeny tiny sponge, but it's not bad. Only issue is it's teeny tiny. I like this sponge. It doesn't remove the coverage. Kind of makes me want to buy one of their bigger ones because if they're the same formula, y'all, I do not mind this. Okay, yep. I need more makeup would make the eye look come together. That is not bad. I'm gonna do a once over just to make sure with a bigger sponge, just to make it more blended out. I sh I'm, I'm, now I really think I'm gonna buy a bigger elf sponge. That was really soft and really good. I mean, ColourPop sponge. Dang! Becca with the coverage. This is looking so much better now that more makeup is getting put on. All right, now going back in with the ColourPop concealer and we will be blending that out with our little ColourPop sponge. Yeah, I like this sponge. This is a sponge that I would literally take the time to wet and use two sponges to do my makeup. So pretty. Lashes and foundation can really make a look look better. Cause y'all, I was real scared about this. <laughs> I was real scared about this eye look, y'all. Like I seen a picture like this on Instagram and I saw it just scrolling, so I, I don't know who to credit for it, but I did see the picture on Instagram with the look like this, like blackish smoky eye with just some red glitter on the top. And I, like that look has never left my mind. So yeah, I thought I would try it cause this is cute. Okay, so now the powder that one is actually the Tarte powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set under my eyes with the sponge and then go do the rest of my face with a brush because that's just how it works best for my skin. Taking this tapered face brush by La Rose. You guys, I've used this powder so much, like I'm starting to run out of it. it. Really is a good powder. Um, You can get more product out if you're using, when you use a brush as well. Okay. We're coming together, we're coming together. Now I'm just gonna take the brush that we used cinnamon on and run this along my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the one we had fudge on and doing the same thing. Okay, and now I didn't have y'all pick out a eyeliner, but I'm gonna add this Araceli eyeliner in the shade Cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon going on today. And then going back in with our Tardis lash paints. Let's add just a tiny bit of crazy. I'm crazy for putting this on the inner corner. Just want some red, red pinkish tones in there to match the crease. Okay. All done with this. Guys, again, thank you, Karina, for buying me this palette. She got it for me for Blessings Month. I love it so much. Like, I'm not, I'm gonna keep on using this, even in my videos, because you can still get it. And I'm pretty sure they have it on Target, because that's where you can find, um, a lot of profusion products is on target.com and they have any holiday sets right now on sale for 25% off. So if you want to pick it up, pick it up. 
um really really like this so for bronzer the palette that actually won is my morphe palette this is the 8l palette Ooh. this is the 8l palette i'm going to take these two and mix them together and bronze with that so donut and literati i think that's how you see it taking my favorite bronzer brush by alad mar cosmetics this is our complexion brush And then the blush palette that won you guys was the Glowing in Grease blush palette. I was so happy when I when this one, like this is my favorite, just favorite, the formula, just everything about it is so, mm, just, mm. so I'm actually gonna make, mix Mykonos and Baros. Y'all see I'm trying to roll them R's cause Karina, I went to order some, <laughs> I went to, a place here called Taqueria Guadalajara. And she was like, that is not how you say it. She was like, Taqueria Guadalajara. And I was like, I'm, I don't got time to be rolling all the R's. Like, that's why Spanish to me is so hard to learn because I don't have the tongue coordination for all the R rolling and the double L E like foil. Like I ain't got like, cause that's what I had to order too. And she was making fun of me. I had to order a caldo de pollo. And I think I pronounced that right because I didn't want the guy to judge me too much. Like, y'all see what I just did? Because <laughs> anyways, I didn't want the guy to make fun of me too much either. So I was like, can I get a caldo that boil? I was excited that this highlighter one because I really only bought it because of Raquel. Like, y'all, when it comes to makeup products, <laughs> y'all don't got to say much to convince me to get me to buy them. Especially if I trust your opinion. Like I trust Raquel's opinion. She didn't have to say much to get me to buy this highlighter. So I picked up the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. This one is just in the shade Champagne. And we're just gonna apply that with my favorite highlighting brush. Dang, how did I dig my nail in there that quick? Ooh, okay, wasn't expecting that, but okay. That's beautiful. Go ahead and set our brows real quick. Set our brows real quick. The brow, brow, the brow gel that one was the Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. Super excited because if you watch me, you know that this Essence Brow Gel is my jam. I think this is like my third one that I bought of this. It's literally only $2.99. Lips time, y'all chose. See, I did a look where make it like go bold would have went real cute with this, but y'all wanted me to keep it nude. So we're keeping it nude. I'm using my Milani uh, understatement lip liner in the shade cinnamon. And then so much cinnamon in today's video. And then I'm using ColourPop liquid lipstick in Sunnyside. I just made a face that reminded me of my mom. So anyways, adding one more coat of bottom mascara just to make my bottom lashes like really stand out because the top is super bold and I just want the bottom to be as bold. Okay, now to set everything down with, I'm gonna try not to spray my eyes because I don't want the lashes to lift, is you guys picked the Milani Fruit Fresh and I have the shade Jagged Fruit Peach and I felt like y'all were just trying to make me crave some juice by, by choosing this. I told you guys when I use this that it made me want a fat glass of juice and I know when I spray this I'm gonna want another fat glass of juice and I'm I don't drink liquids like that like I'm an eater not a drinker <laughs> now my kids and Brian they're drinkers if you have seen my grocery hauls you know how much juice I gotta buy because of them. I love Milani Make It Last, so. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun having you guys pick out what I was gonna do for my makeup today. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these, so if you don't already, go ahead and 
go ahead and follow me on Instagram so that way you know when I do another poll so that way you guys can pick out my makeup again but this time I might say what or I should just do one where it's like what colors in the palette do you want me to use or like what color look should I do with the palette I don't know we'll figure something out but this was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun letting you guys pick out my makeup so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed the way the look came out it was, thank you for hanging in there with me because y'all y'all seen like your girl's eyes was looking rough in the beginning <laughs> but i do like how it came out like i said foundation and lashes really just bring a look together so i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves excuse me always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys